What's up gang? This is Phil with the Road Dirt Crew hanging out here at Kevin Baxter's Garage, also known as Pro Twin Performance. They've been kind enough to give us some time today on a lift so we can do an exhaust comparison on a 2014 Street Glide. So today the plan is for us to actually show you how to install and to record the sounds of a stock Harley Davidson exhaust, the Reinhardt 40 inch, uh, 4 inch slip on exhaust and then we're going to actually swap out the baffle in the stock Reinhardt 4 inch and put in the new DBX 40 uh, baffle in that exhaust. We're going to listen to that one and then we're going to finish out the day watch, listening to the new DBX 4.5 or 4.5 inch exhaust on this same street glide. So sit tight, we're going to get to the action here momentarily and uh, let's see what we got. So thanks for joining us. All right, here we are uh, with our first comparison, and this is the stock slip-ons that came with this 2014 Street Glide about, oh, 40,000 miles ago. Uh, <laughs> and so we're going to fire this up, let you hear what the stock sound was, the patented Harley-Davidson stock sound. Alright, so we've installed the Reinhardt 4 inch standard slip-ons that uh, we've had for about a year and a half. We've actually put those on. Uh, we did get the custom billet tips uh, on these as well, which are just, in my opinion, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so right now we're going to go ahead and fire this up and let you hear what this sounds like compared to the stock mufflers. There we go. So now let's put the new baffles in these and see what the DBX40 baffles sound like in these Reinhardt 4 inch slip ons. Ooh, that is snug as they're supposed to be. <laughs> so this is how easy the baffles come out of the four inch slip on. It's basically twist and they come right off with the end cap. Yep. And there's the standard baffle on the standard Reinhardt slip on. Which I gotta say sound pretty good. Yes they do. Looks like we have done some curb scrapage on this <laughs> one as well. So here we're taking off the retaining ring. to the end cap. Pre-loosened. They come off real easy, by the way. They do. Slide that ring off. Let's take the original baffle off. Put the new baffle in. This is so easy. That is very user-friendly. The Reinhardt people were thinking like shade tree mechanics, <laughs> which is good. You know, Rob, I've been to Reinhardt and I've had the good fortune to get a tour of the facility and their manufacturing is just absolutely spectacular. Um, they use state-of-the-art CNC equipment and they've got uh, ISO QA in, involved um, and they're all, all manufactured in the U.S. Um, you know, they use only companies here in the U.S. to do some of the chrome work and the powder coating work for some of their um, black pipes that they uh, offer as well. But their 
their manufacturing facility just outside of Asheville, North Carolina. I believe it's in Arden, North Carolina. It's just uh, uh, a study in U.S. manufacturing and how to do it right for the U.S. biker. It's just amazing. Nice. And we're ready to go back in now. All right, so now we're about to fire up the Reinhardt four inch slip-ons with the new DBX 4.0 baffles that we've installed in here. So we've just done kind of a quick tutorial, uh, but I got, I got to tell you, uh, I have not done much slip-on work. Uh, this is really my first street bike. Uh, and the actual operation of removing the baffles and replacing them, putting them back in, Rob probably took us maybe 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. You can right. see we actually did it, our hands are dirty, but uh, yeah, it was amazing how quick and easy it was to slide those things out and um, and just change out the baffles and pop them back in. So we're going to fire it up now, see what these uh, DBX baffles sound like. All right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the DBX 4.0. Huge difference between the stock baffle and this new baffle. The, the sound is amazing, just, just fabulous. I loved it. Now for the next and final phase, we're gonna take these four inch units off. We're gonna put on the four and a half inch that already have the DBX 4.5 baffles in them. And then we're gonna see what that sounds like. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we've installed the Reinhardt four and a half inch slip-on mufflers with the DBX four five baffle inserts, and so we're going to fire this up here and see if we can hear a difference between the four and a halfs and the fours on the street glide. So here we go. sound amazing too it's kind of tough it's kind of tough the four and a half may stay on this bike after all we'll have to see <laughs> all right so that's kind of our comparison and at this point I wanted to bring Kevin Baxter in from Baxter's garage and pro twin performance because Kevin truthfully a lot of guys think that they can just roll up to a tent at Daytona or order some online slip-ons and just bolt them on and they're good to go but I, I know that there's maybe some engine mapping that needs to be done or some tuning depending on what bike and what engine and things like that. Could you maybe shed a little bit of light for everybody as to what really you, they need to look for after they've gone to a new slip-on or a new size? Sure. Now, I'm, I'm going to go around the world to get across the street with this, but, I, right. you know, we've got to keep in mind these bikes are enormous investments, you know, they, they cost a lot of money. and. Uh, we, we want to make sure if you're making an improvement or you're making a change, I mean, you're buying a quality part. My, my history with Reinhardt goes back, I mean, years and years, okay. back to back when Bub was making pipes for them. And I, I did a lot of, a lot of testing for them uh, when they first came out with the two into one, was kind of involved with the development of the two into one and cool. the true duels. Uh, but what I've seen over the years when Judd uh, took the company over, uh, I've seen the quality go through the roof. I mean, I have seen... Uh, I've seen Judd reject chrome on pipes that the average person would never see a flaw in. Yeah. And I mean, he's he's not an absentee owner. Right. I mean, that guy is on the floor. He's yeah. he's R and Ding everything. So I you know I only want to install a quality product that produces power and stuff like that. So um, you know, as far as the quality, it, it hands down. When it comes to the mapping, people have to keep in mind that you know these motorcycles when they come from the factory, there's one generic tuning file that's in that ECM that has to be compatible for everywhere that motorcycle should, could possibly ship. Right. So we can't just generically tell people just throw a pipe on it and you're going to be 100% okay. 
Now, I will say in most cases, uh, because the factory tuning is uh, pretty much safe for low octane fuels and things like that, most people want to run 93 octane, but when you get in high altitudes, you can only get 87 right. octane, right? Sure. So uh, to a large degree, I would say if, if you know, your bike is properly maintained, and and you're because of your environmental conditions, uh, you know it's healthy as it is. If you maintain the catalytic converter in the factory headpipe, okay, with no other modifications, and you put a slip on on it, the bike will run okay. But what we have to remember is from the factory, these bikes come EPA compliant. Mm -hmm. So just putting on a set of slip ons will make it sound better but it won't necessarily cool it back down. Gotcha. Okay, so that's one of the goals, right? right. You know, yeah. you, you, people want to cool them down. So I, I would say that, you know, if you put on slip-ons, you keep the factory head pipe, you're running the stock air cleaner, then in most cases, you would be okay without needing any tuning, okay? Uh, but when it comes to the point of removing a catalytic converter or putting on a high-flow air cleaner, mm -hmm. you have to do something. You should, because we have to remember, again, that bike is tuned for EPA compliance right. at the very beginning. But one of the, believe it or not, one of the very common mistakes that I see is people putting on a slip-on, leaving the stock head pipe on it with the catalytic converter and tuning on top of that. Mm. But a lot of folks don't understand how a catalytic converter works. The idea is when they see fuel, they heat up to burn off the excess fuel. Yeah. So when you're tuning a bike, that's what you're doing. You're giving it a little more fuel. Right. So what happens on that catalytic converter, you give it more fuel, the converter just gets hotter. Right. So it's either just put the slip-on on and do nothing else, or definitely tune it if you change the breather or the head pipe. So that's my tip. Got it. Good, good info, good info to have. So it's important that you really kind of look at the entire system from the header all the way through the catalytic converter to the slip on and don't just think you're done once you put the slip ons on. But speaking of EPA compliance though, I did know uh, in my tour uh, of the facility last year that they actually have a, a California compliant slip on now. So yes. they've got a new California uh, compliance slip on and of course they're making uh, full exhaust systems and slip ons for most of the American-made V-twins and touring bikes, soft tails, uh, Harley-Davidson, and Indian. So um, they do a great job. We really appreciate uh, John and Judd and the support they've given us in, in shooting this comparison to hear the sound. I know when I first bought my bike and I was thinking about upgrading it, I was looking everywhere to, to see where I could compare some sound to different uh, exhausts. So uh, hopefully you guys have picked up something from this today and have enjoyed this. And we, again, want to appreciate, uh, want to, I want to thank Kevin and his team for uh, giving us some time on the lift today. Absolutely. And uh, we will uh, be checking in with you guys. So this is Phil and Rob and the crew from Road Dirt. And don't forget to ride life, baby. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Appreciate Peace it. Man. You got it, man. Take care.